I sit back and I ask myself a lot of times, like, at what point did I know that I was ready to make that change? At what point did I realize that I've hit rock bottom? At what point did I realize that I wanted to take control, start over, and really give it to God and just allow myself to become and do something I know I've never done before in my life? My depression eating started in high school. And it really became a strong struggle for me that I pretty much hid um, from everyone, but you could physically see it on the outside. And I don't think nothing is tougher than fighting an eating disorder and still trying to be the person that you want to be and make a change. And it all changed for me. I'll never forget getting a phone call from one of my doctors at the time and he was like come in you know we're going to do a sleep study on you we want you to go to sleep and, da, da, da. and he told me to lose 30 pounds i was excited i started walking i started changing what i ate and i lost the 30 pounds and you know i began to do a lifestyle change and i i you know i fell off so many times and i gained it back and then it hit me again i'm like you know what i'm not going back to the old me for nobody you know i started making sacrifices in the gym i started pushing myself to do things i would have never done and i still wasn't quite there just yet but you know progress and moving forward you begin to see the weight literally fall off of me like each day each month each week like every time i begin to change something about myself like i realize you know what court no more you know, my sleep apnea is not going to hold me back. Cut that. My high blood pressure is not going to hold me back. Cut that. My eating disorder is not going to hold me back. Cut that. You know, fighting so many different things at once, I begin to just spiral out of control until I began to catch myself and I started loving myself and I started showing myself that there's more to life than the things that I face inside of my head. You know, there's plenty of things I can do to change my body. And I fell in love with that. I fell in love with eating and working out and doing different things to make my body look different. I fell in love with the things that made me feel good rather than eating food when I felt bad. You know, if I can do it and I force myself to go out of my comfort zone to do everything that I ever thought I wanted to do as a fat person or just as an overweight guy or as a person that never thought that he could see himself reach his weight loss goal, I did that. And, you know, I feel like if my, in my life, if my motivation, if I'm motivation to someone or if God put me here to help one person to start their weight loss journey or to do something that they've never done, then that's what I'm going to put my journey out there for. It was plenty of nights of sacrifice, crying, hurt, pain, you know. I'm, I'm missing so many important parts of this story, but if you've been watching or if you're just now starting to watch, maybe now you can go back and you can watch and see the struggles that I faced in order for me to be where I'm at today. You know, getting up, going to the gym now is more of something that helps me. You know, it helps my body, it helps my spirit, it helps my comfort. It makes me become a person that I always dreamed about being. You know, now I'm at a level of peace that I've never had before. I can handle so much more that I couldn't handle before. And mainly a lot of it came from being able to balance everything out in life. And the gym was able, the gym taught me how to center that. I push myself every day to do something I've never done. I push myself every rep, every moment I get, I'm tossing it to the left. I'm tossing it to the right because I see the end goal and I know what it takes to make sacrifice. I know what it takes when God puts you on a mission and he tells you to keep pushing until I tell you to stop or until you see the vision that I put over your life. It's never easy. You just got to trust the process. It took me almost three and a half years to put this video together because I always felt like I wasn't at the point that I needed to be at. And I realized every time I get ready to grow, I'm going to look down. I'm going to remember where I came from because remembering where you were in the past is always going to show you that you can push up to new levels. 
Never let anyone tell you what you can't do, because if I did it, I can assure you that anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. It's all about what you think you can do and what you know you can do and make it happen. Eleven, eleven.